Hey, Ronnie here from fourwheelingwesternaustralia.com. I'm going to give you three simple cooking ideas, like actual tasty ones that are really easy to do so that most people will actually do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So they're not any fancy meals. They're just really simple, I'm gonna smoke my eyes out. It's really simple meals. Uh, one is based on canned food, so good if you've got stuff left over. And the other one is a cool pasta, very easy to make. And the other one is one of the tastiest desserts that I've ever made at camp. So let's go to the kitchen. All right, meal number one. Now this first meal can be used as an entree, if you're really fancy, or you can actually use that as a lunch meal or dinner even. And what it consists of, well, I'll tell you what it's called first. It's a tuna pasta salad. And we're not actually cooking it because you pre-cook your pasta. So that's the beauty about it. When you go camping, you want stuff pre-done. So I'll go quickly go through the ingredients. Your main ingredient is the pasta. You want to use the shell or the ginormous screwy ones. Mayo, you need like a good bit of mayo. Tuna, one whole apple, pre-chopped celery or chop your celery at camp. Cashew nuts. And coarse, you need coarse salt and some pepper, coarse pepper for tasting. There is one more ingredient that I did forget. The lemon. You need half a lemon, which you're going to squeeze. Utensils you need. A beverage. A knife to cut things. This is probably overkill. A spoon to stir things around with. And here we have an old billy that's seen quite a few days. Rightio, now to the mixing process, and this is where it gets real simple. In this case, I'm just using an old billy, and just chuck it all in there. In no particular order, just throw all the ingredients into your bowl, or in my case, the billy can. A good fistful of cashew nuts. Squeeze your lemon, chuck all your tuna in, and this is where you need to take a bit of measurement. For the amount we got in here, I'll go five tablespoons of the um, mayonnaise. In this case, I'm using whole egg. Just any mayonnaise. One, two, three, four, five. And pepper. I like my pepper. And then you just mix it all together. And that's it, you're pretty much done. Now for some taste testers. All right, what do you guys reckon? Yeah, it tastes like pasta, mayonnaise, tuna mixed together. It's pretty good. I like it. The apple's good. Good, good, mm. good addition. Yeah, make sure when you chop it up, everything is a consistent size to the pasta. Cause then it'll, I don't know, it just works better in your mouth. Yeah, it works well. Good. Waiting for it to work well in your mouth. <laughs> If you, want, if you want a recipe, there'll be a link to it in below, but stay tuned for the big can cook-up, and this one is one of my favourite ones. On to meal number two. Now this one is perfect for kids, and perfect for a quick throw together. It is so easy, but we need the ingredients, which is all canned food and rice. So here's the rice. You're already using canned food, so you may as well skip the cooking of the rice, because rice can be a pain to cook. For me it is anyway. So we've got packaged rice, and this is microwave rice, yes. Uh, a lot of them will actually say in the back, you can't heat them in a pot. Even the ones that say you, you can't do it, like this one, you can do it anyway. I've done it plenty of times. So let's go through the ingredients. We've got coconut milk, corn kernels, 
and some pineapple. So it's kind of like a tropical tasty thing. It's kind of sweet but savory still. And then we have cocktail sausages. You don't need to use cocktail sausages. You can use chicken left over from the day before or you can even cook your chicken, cold chicken, ham. You can use pretty much any meat you like. In this case, I'm keeping it all cans. So this is cocktail sausages. Now a lot of people don't probably don't like these, but I absolutely love them and my kids love them. Utensils, we've got a, I've got my jet boil stove here on a butane with my little pots and about 90 mils of water. And that's just to reheat the rice with. So with your packet, just mash it up, separate it all. It makes your job a lot easier. The packet will even tell you to do that anyway. And if you drop anything, don't need to worry about it because the ants will take care of that. So all you're doing is you're just heating it up. But you've got to keep stirring it so you don't burn it. Alright, so it's pretty well reheated. But we're not going to go too far on it because we're going to heat it up again anyway with all the other ingredients in it. So now is where we add the coconut. So you need about three tablespoons worth in there. I just throw a bit in there, but that's about the right amount. And again, we're in the bush, so we can just pour it on the kitchen floor. And with the corn, you probably only want about half a can. I usually buy the smaller cans, but it was cheaper to get the big one. I like pineapple juice, so I'm going to put this in a cup. And drink it. And with your pineapple, you just want about 10, 15 big chunks in there. Cocktail sausages, the whole tin. All right, it's getting a bit much for here. Normally you only cook it for a couple of people or on a big pot on a big stove. But um, I'm only going, I only got my single serving cooker today. So Harry is behind the camera. I'll use his billy again. As you're stirring it, just be gentle so you don't break up all the sausages or cocktail sausages. Obviously, if you've got different meat in there, it's probably not going to matter. And you just get this to a nice hot temperature and let it cool down a bit and serve it. Here you go, Harry. Thank you. Got more? Nah, should be all right, so that's what it should look like when you're done. The same as what it looked like when it went in. So what do you reckon? Better than I thought it was going to be. I think it would be really good for kids though, definitely. Could use a bit of salt and pepper, but... Mm. I'm going to go for a little bit of sriracha, actually. Chilli, chilli sauce. sauce. The, the sausages taste like dog food, but the rest <laughs> of it's pretty good. <laughs> right, I, I'd eat it without the sausages, I think. There you go, add your own meat. <laughs> All right, now onto the tastiest one, and I guarantee you, anyone in the world will like the next one. Mm. And it's a dessert. <laughs> Recipe number three. Okay, this one is a really, really tasty one. If you like bananas, ingredients, bananas, marshmallows, and chocolate. And uh, utensils, a knife and some aluminium foil. All right, let's get into it. So you chop the marshmallows in half, like so. And you get your chocolate. And you want that in tiny fragments. Now this is fruit and nut chocolate, but I recommend just regular chocolate. But that's all I had in the fridge. The next step is to carefully cut the banana. You don't want to cut all the way through. You want to make like a pea pod or like a banana boat, so to speak. All right, then we stuff our banana. Just alternate marshmallow, chocolate. Then grab some aluminium foil. 
about a foot by a foot. Grab your banana, and as you put the banana in, tighten it at both ends, but leave it loose at the top. Otherwise it goes too squishy. So we're gonna do that to the other five or six bananas I have here, and then we're gonna pop them in the fire. All right, here we go, we have six, and we're gonna pop them on the fire, only for five minutes, and we're gonna take them straight off. Nearly there, I'll start taking them off. Back at the banana bar, we'll just check one out. So there we go, that's what it's gonna look like. And to eat them, you're gonna get a spoon and you're gonna scoop it out. Yeah, chocolate and marshmallows. It's bloody good. That's really, mmm. Yeah, that's next level. It's really good. No, yeah, well done, Ronnie. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. <laughs> As I said before, there will be a link to all these recipes down below. So you get like written instructions in case I miss something out. And do tell me what you think about this type of video. If you'd like to see more of them, if there's other recipes you'd like me to do. This is stuff that you can, or anyone can cook out in the bush easily. Easy. There you go, just taking the marble one. <laughs> you can support the creation of videos like this. That's patreon.com slash Ronnie Dahl. Thanks again for watching and please do subscribe. Where's the subscribe gonna be? Oh, yeah. Here. Right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheers. See ya. <laughs> Ain't right, that was really fing good. <laughs> sticky fingers. Do you get to eat anything? The what? Do you get to eat any? Yeah. I wasn't watching you. I was honestly too eating. Yeah, busy they're eating. So, so good. So good. <laughs> <laughs> good, aren't they? Have another one, Harry. I have. <laughs> you had two? I had one of the half. Have that one. Slimy bastard. <laughs> Slimy bastard.